Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about plant leaf disease detection using computer vision algorithms and machine learning algorithms. This example script shows k-means clustering algorithms and contour tracing texture analysis using gray level co-occurrence matrix and also CNN classifier. Let us see the graphical user interface what we used in this example. This is a plant leaf uh, disease detection graphical user interface. You can load the image here and enhance the contrast image and segment image and you can also see the classification result and affected region and accuracy and also this feature data in means of means, entropy, RMS, smoothness, skewness, contrast, correlation, etc. This plant leaf uh, disease is automatically directed by K-means algorithm based on machine learning and image processing tools. Here the input image uh, or load the image, leaf image in this basis of altern area, altern area image is a, is a graphical user, user interface first to load the image is a, it shows, this slide shows the query image then next the k-means clustering algorithm also employed to maximize the quality and segment the leaf samples this second image, the first image is the load image, it is a query image and this is a second image is called enhanced contrast image, this is a contrast enhanced image the next one, the k-means uh, clustering also uh, also employed to maximize the quality and segment the leaf uh, samples in the in the form of clusters. This is an input image, this is an original image. This is a cluster one and cluster two and cluster three. I need to select this cluster two because this is an affected area, so that I am selecting this cluster two image part. The next one, after choosing this cluster two image. The output like this, the segmented images with segmented ROA. Now we can employ the DWT and PCA and GLCM are used to extract the information, informative regions or features of the input samples. Here after that, after segmenting image, you can see the features, this output in the form of mean, SD, entropy, RMS, various smoothness, etc. This is a, after execution, we can see the affected area direction. What is how much area? in the leaf is affected by the by using this plant disease this affected area is shows 15.0113 you can see so 15.0113 affected area shows here now we can apply machine learning approaches uh, that is a support vector machine rk knn and cnn are used to classify the features here here is a result and discussion part here these are these are the techniques we are using first load the image image acquisition and image pre-processing image segmentation feature extraction in the image and finally you can detect the direct and classification of plant disease this output uh, after execution you can get the result in the value of mean and sd value and entropy rms contrast correlation energy and the homogeneity etc this model uses the computer vision techniques the machine learning approaches such as svm knn and the cnn are used to distinguish a diseased or non-diseased leaf to extract the informative features of the leaf samples, multiple distribution dis uh, discrete wavelet transform and principal component analysis and GLCM are used well suited for this type of CNN machine learning based classification techniques. Now let us see the graphical user interface. Now I can choose this load image option. Now I am getting uh, this data set. There are so, so many types of data sets are there. In this data set, you can use alternate, alternate uh, uh, anthracos and bacterial blight and say zero leaf spots and healthy leaves also you can compare using this. In this example, I am using the first one. This now load, load image part is over. Then you can choose enhanced contrast. Here you can get the enhanced contrast. And after that, we can see the segment image option. In the segment image option, I need to ch choose the, there are three type of clusters are available. It is a most suitable for this one, this one. These are affected area. So that I am choosing the cluster three. What will happen? You can see now you can get the features output and also you can get the output in this affected area section. I hope you enjoy this video. Also, also you can see the classification result and affected regions and accuracy by using the machine learning algorithms features. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. If you are new, new viewer of this channel, means kindly subscribe my channel and also don't forget to share your share this video to your friends and students. Thanks for watching. Thank you.